Hi guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you your uh, spread here, your general spread in regards to how do they feel about you. What I do is I take uh, for each zodiac sign, so please take the time to timestamp whether it is your sign or you are cross watching as well. I do appreciate that as always. Uh, thank you to everybody who does that. Uh, so I take the for each energy here in regards to how do they exactly feel about you. Now keep in mind that it is a general reading here, okay? So what I do is I do promote this in regards to a, um, a spread that I offer. It's only $20, it's through email only. Uh, I pull 10 cards in regards to exactly how do they feel about you, more specifically just meant for you kind of energy, okay? All you have to do is email me at dubdoesreadings at gmail.com Email me the name of the person of interest in regards to how do they feel about you. It's $20, like I said, and then I will email you the PayPal uh, request, okay? And then it's done within basically 24 hours after payment is received. I hope that this helps. It's a very, uh, very good spread. It's very detailed as well. It does include a picture of your spread as well as a very detailed message uh, with those 10 cards and the clarifiers and outcome as well. So let's get started. Back to the journal read here in regards to if you are dealing with, how do they feel about you? If you are dealing with the sign of Taurus, uh, you have the seven of cups here, which is that confusion, I feel. Uh, they're waiting, all right, but they are manifesting, all right, with their thoughts here. They do think about you. I also feel with the judgment here, they see that connection. It's all in due time. There's work being processed here in regards to balancing their energy as well. They do think about you. They're actually manifesting for this connection, so they do love you. In regards to how do they feel if you are dealing with a Taurus, there is true love here, but they're waiting while they're manifesting and feeling that connection, communicating with spirit as well. You have the magician with the judgment. That's definitely in touch with their spiritual side, listening to spirit, talking to spirit, feeling that connection as well. So really nice energy if you are dealing with a Taurus. Moving on to the sign of Virgo. How do they feel? Yummy. Uh, the sun is known for that bright, beautiful future. It is also known as the yes. I feel with the three of pentacles, they want to put this work back in and have this movement. So yes, I do feel that there is work being put in in regards to movement of this relationship. And they look at you as the sun. Everything positive, upbeat, okay? And that's what I feel. I feel that there's definite development in regards to this relationship as well. Moving on, I hope that that helps, guys, to the sign of Capricorn. I did pre-pull these cards. Um, I tried to go the other way, but I got disturbed with a FaceTime uh, message here. So we're going with the pre-pulled cards here. In regards to Capricorn, you guys have, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, you got the Ace of Cups. So... This was quite an interesting energy here. Uh, you have the Capricorn card, which is your energy, but regardless, you have the Ace of Cups with the devil here. That's a little bit of naughtiness in regards to how do they feel. Uh, that's very um, spice in the rice, okay? Uh, could be just like a third, not, not third part, uh, like a friends with benefits, okay? Energy, all right? Uh, but I do feel that there's kind of spice in the rice and love here. And they think about you uh, in a, mm, let's just say it's sexual kind of matter at night is what I'm feeling here. So a lot of va va voom for if you are dealing with the Capricorn, okay? Uh, but I do feel a lot of lust. That's the word I'm looking for. And there is love as well. And they do think about you at night in a yummy matter, okay, is what I'm picking up here. Moving on to water. Uh, specifically Pisces, please take the time to timestamp down below, whether it is your sign or your cross-watching here. Pisces, if you are dealing with the Pisces, how do they feel about you? All right, they miss you. You got the five of cups here. Fives are known for a change in regards to the cup energy, which is love, kind of regretful as well. They want to, I clarified that with the three of pentacles. They want to put in this work again. They're waiting, all right? It's taken some time for them to, open up here with the strength card could be dealing with the leo as well uh, but i feel that the nine of pentacles being clarified by the strength here they're trying they're waiting they're working on their energy to get that encouragement up to communicate to get you back because i feel that they miss you and they want to put in this work again 
That's what I feel for the sign of Pisces. If you are dealing with a cancer here, uh, you guys have the Hierophant, the Ten of Wands, the Moon, and the Empress. Woo. There's a lot of reflecting, more so directed at night, I feel, with the Empress. There's a lot of regret with the Ten of Wands. They want bygones to be bygones here in regards to his energy turn looking at the Empress. So I feel that there's definitely a hold off in regards to this relationship. But, you know, you take that... <laughs> Uh, they, 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 Mork, and, um, Mork and Mindy theory here. I don't know. I'm old. But I used to love watching Mork and Mindy. You see how that hand is kind of like nanu nanu. You know, that's... <laughs> I don't know why they bring that up. But they want to make peace, okay? Um, could be thinking out of this world in regards to with them bringing that up. That was weird. But it, it, I feel that there's this energy of they think about you, they regret a lot in regards to their actions of postponing this. They want to make a nanu nanu in regards to peace with this situation. They think about it at night is what I'm feeling as well. All right. Interesting energy. Nanu nanu to all. Uh, moving on to the sign of Scorpio. I tell you, I get some warp messages. Let me tell you. <laughs> Uh, if you are dealing with a Scorpio here, okay, something definitely came to a close in regards to a relationship here with the Hierophant showing the hand to the world. I feel that they want to improve things. They're waiting. They are positive. They want to improve things. And how is that improving? Through a new start of communication. I also feel that they have a new sense of thinking as well. Ace is no, are known for new beginnings in regards to their thoughts as well as they want a new start of communication. So very nice energy there, Scorpio, or if you are dealing with a Scorpio, sorry. All right, moving on. If you are dealing with Faya, specifically Aries here, you have the star, the two of wands, and the six of wands. Woo! They are trotting away. They made a decision because they cleared their energy. They healed their energy. And now they're making a decision, a choice in regards to showing action to get victory. Very nice energy here in regards to how do they feel? You are their wish fulfillment. They're taking action. They're showing action. They just corrected me. And getting this success again in regards to getting their wish fulfillment. So that's what I feel in regards to the sign if you are dealing with an Aries. Moving on to the sign of Leo. If you are dealing with the Leo, you have the Eight of Wands, the Two of Wands, the Lover's Card, and the Knight of Wands. So this could be your energy, but really, if you're feeling, if you're dealing with the Leo here, there's, I, I hear, there's a rushed decision with the Eight of Wands heading towards that Two of Wands. So I feel that somebody is seriously going to take some quick action here in regards to making a decision because they feel that love, they feel that connection with you with the Lover's Card here. Could be dealing with a Gemini as well, but it's been a slow motion in regards to that. That's going to change is what that tells me. So there's a lot of wands with the lover's card here. That's kind of like a Reese's cup, a lot of va-va-voom with that wand energy, determination, passion as well, including that lovers. There's love, there's passion. They're moving forward. I feel really nice energy, Leo, extremely nice. So if you are dealing with the Leo, that's how they feel. They got the va va voom for somebody out there and is taking action. All right. So in regards to Sag, if you are dealing with the Sag here, all thoughts, no action. Now they're communicating, I feel, with the Ace of Swords here, okay? Uh, they are definitely cutting through what they are thinking, okay? It's kind of like cracking an egg. Opening it up is what I'm literally feeling with that sword heading towards what they're thinking. They're cracking it open. They're expressing, especially with the justice here. They got a lot to say. And what are they saying? Let's move. Let's move together. Could be moving in together as well for somebody out there, I feel. But if you are dealing with the Sag, I feel that they want this communication. It's kind of like they lack that motivation to act on it. And now it's time to open up. They keep showing me a cracked egg, cracked egg, trying to get that yolk out, you know, and open up to exactly what are they manifesting, meaning what are they thinking here? They want to communicate. They want to open up. And what they want to open up is movement with this. So I feel if you are dealing with the Sag here, they got a lot to say. They got to open up, express how they feel here for this movement. Really nice energy here. They are definitely manifesting with their thoughts. All right, moving on to air. Uh, if you are dealing with an Aquarius here, this was 
interesting. Somebody was seriously stressed out over this situation with the Seven of Swords. I clarified it with the Four of Cups. So I do feel that, you know, there is going to be this love offering, absolutely. Uh, they're heading towards that decision, all right? Uh, now, for some, and I am picking this up, the Seven of Swords is known for deceit. So it literally coming over, this could be only for a few out there, but I am going to say it because I'm feeling it. These three cups here could be third party as well. So I do feel that whomever is dealing, two different messages, whoever is dealing with a third party, I feel that they've been stressing out, you know, but they are coming in to lo love that or offer that love offer with the page of cups here. So there could have been definitely a moment of stagnation with this because they were stressed out in regards to a third party. Uh, but I really feel that they are coming in because they are choosing the one whom they love. So if you are dealing with an Aquarius, regardless if you are in a third party or not, I do feel that this love offer is coming in. Uh, for those who are not in a third party, I feel that they were just stressed out over what to do in regards to how to go about opening up. I feel that they truly love you here is what that tells me. Moving on to the sign of Libra. Uh, sister from another mother. All right, you guys have the Three of Cups, the Chariot, the uh, Two of Pentacles, the Death Card, and the Ace of Swords. So how do they feel about you? They're making a decision. They're making me grab this one first. In regards to a change to open up, I feel, I feel that they have a clearer sense in regards to how to go about this, how to open up. They want this happiness with you with the Three of Cups here, followed by the Chariot. So I feel that somebody has been pondering for quite some time, making a decision kind of off balance feeling in the past. They do reminisce in regards to the happiness that they once had, but they're making a decision to open up and express how they feel and how do they feel about you. If you are dealing with a Libra, they fancy you. They love you here. They want that happiness. They want that movement again. And they're going to have this change and express that to you is what I'm feeling. Okay. Moving on to the last sign of Gemini. Hope you guys are doing well. Please take the time to timestamp down below as well. Uh, Ten of Swords for Gemini, clarified by the Page of Wands, could be dealing with fire as well, but it's really about the action. Got a little detailed here with Gemini. Pulled a few extra. Uh, I feel that there was definitely a cutoff of communication in regards to this relationship with the hand facing the Ten of Swords. All right. But I feel that it's taken them some time, but they put in this work in regards to getting in touch with their spiritual side as well with the judgment here. They had to raise their vibration level, I feel, okay, work on themselves, but they see the calling, they see this truth, they see this relationship, they feel that connection. And once they heal their energy, I clarify the Ten of Swords with the Page of Wands. So that's communication coming in to show the action. But they first need to put a pause on this in regards to healing their energy, working on themselves, getting in touch with spirit here, raising their vibration. So how does, if you are dealing with a Gemini, how does the Gemini feel about you? I feel that they had to take that time to work on their energy here, but they do see this connection. They see the signs. And once they heal their energy, they are returning and showing that action. And that's what I have for not just Gemini, but for all the Zodiac signs out there. Uh, please subscribe, like, share, comment down below how you like these readings here. As well as if you are interested, I do offer a $20 spread. It is a great, great deal. It is done through email only. Uh, if you would like to know specifically, because this is a general, specifically how your uh, person of interest uh, feels about you, email me at dubdoesreadings at gmail.com. It is done within 24 hours. It does include a picture of your spread, which includes a 10-card spread with clarifiers, outcome clarifiers as well, and a detailed description of your spread of what I'm picking up in regards to how does your person feel about you. If you are interested in something like that, please email me, like yet again, at dubdoesreadings at gmail.com. Please wear a mask, social distancing as well. You guys rock, be safe, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.